that can't wait and get frantic about it. This one tried to get a piece of the meat after showing intimacy through initiating sexual contact. But as she wasn't going to give him any meat, he just lost his patience. She defended her food even while she was being hit and is now climbing up the tree to a safer place. She wanted a quiet and uninterrupted place for a feast, but this isn't the place either. In the meantime, there is one waiting under the tree, hoping that she drops a piece. When she was caught off guard, this one snatched a good piece from her. And when he was just about to eat it, a female in heat with a heavily swollen buttocks came and asked for a piece. To males, sharing food often becomes a way of luring a female because they get a chance to mate by sharing the meat. But this time, she came to the wrong place. Mating is important, but this just isn't the right time for him. She noticed that he won't give up any meat and gave up cooling. After much ado, mothers return to the quiet everyday life. The youngest one is always looking for something to play with. Climbing trees is fun for him. Just as the youngest one is boasting of his new skill to his eldest sister, the male pin started to run about wildly to display his power. Pim was quickly rushing toward the tree the youngest one was playing with. It was his sister who jumped in as quick as the wind and rescued him at the very last moment. Acadia was protecting her little brother, even with her small body. The moment passes and life continues. Gwekulu goes out with her granddaughter Puffy to hunt ants. She still has a lot to teach her granddaughter Puffy. It's not as easy as it seems, but ant fishing is a survival skill that she has to master.
Buffy usually goes hungry in the end fishing place, and she is going through a number of trials and errors. Tree climbing is a skill they must master in order to live in the jungle. This is also something that Puffy must learn and a fear that she has to overcome. As usual, Wakulo is leading the way for Puffy with an aching leg. Keeping just enough distance for Puffy to feel the presence of her grandmother and allow to follow her at ease. No one knows how long Wakulo will stay with Puffy, but Puffy has learned a lot about the world through her grandmother during the last year. If anyone asks whether chimpanzees have a mother's love in their nature, their beautiful story must be the answer.